Hello, my name is Michael. I'm with Tech America in Charleston, South Carolina, and today we'll be creating a uh, using the scheduled maintenance journal to create a uh, PM card or a service ticket. So open the vision, uh, select your field service management, and then select the scheduled maintenance journal module. And then we'll see you have a blank screen. I usually start this by releasing any filters. You can click this button over to Shift Control F7. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is to move over to a card. And to move over to a card, you hold Shift and hit F5. You'll notice that it is also blank. At this point, <laughs> move over to a card. At this point, you'll want to release all uh, filters again. And then you want to move back to a list by hitting only F5. This will bring up all of the scheduled maintenance uh, that you have in the system already. Now here, you do not want to just click on one. If you do, you will get an error message like I just received. So you want to switch over to the card. This is to select or create a new one. Uh, to do that, you hit Shift F5. And you will go on to a card. Uh, like with any ticket or anything in the vision to create a new one, uh, click into an area that is open and hit F3 to create. You'll want to tab over to let it automatically generate a scheduled maintenance number for you. At that point, you will select your customer. Uh, we will use GFI Partners for the sake of this. Um, next, you'll want to go down to your site code. Uh, we'll 4450 Goer Avenue for the sake of this presentation. All right, the next part you want to fill out is your expiration date, and this does actually drive um, some useful information when you try to find it later. Uh, for the sake of this, we'll put it for the end of this year. Here, you want to switch this to PMA for uh, you know, your preventative maintenance. Uh, always select an equipment ID, whether you use that module or not, it will make you select one. Uh, your project number. Uh, for us here in South Carolina, all of our service tickets that are in the state of South Carolina uh, are 99800. Alright, there's some other things you can use, but um, we don't use them. So next you'll want to set it up as a contract amount. We'll go tab over to quantity. And you're only going to put in one. It doesn't matter how many times um, you're, you're going to be running this PM. Tab over to the unit price. That is the contract value for every PM visit. Now, sometimes if you want to just put yourself a nice little reminder, you can put it in there. And this will pop up every time you run the, uh, you have it generated. Uh, we'll get to that later. All right, so next you probably want to go to Department Code under the Invoicing tab, and we use Service in South Carolina. Uh, shipping tab, I don't think there's anything on there. You want to make sure your location code is still filled in. Schedule. So on this part, uh, for, you'll, you'll select your month, and you'll want to pick uh, PMA. Your estimated time, put it in as one. You can actually put it in for, if you use that, you can put it in for whatever it's going to be. Just don't leave it as a zero or it won't pick it up when it goes to generate the tickets. All right, so February, we have 1 p.m. scheduled. Of course, if you wanted this to be a spring and fall, you know, you just punch in the, the dates that you have there. Okay, so now we have this ready to go. Now we'll move um, just back completely out of there. And I'll show you how we run the... Um, how we use the vision to remind us or suggest the scheduled maintenance. So we'll come back to this page, it is blank. This time we're going to go to Suggest Scheduled Maintenance. All right, for here, I only usually punch in the area code. We share a vision with um, uh, our North Carolina office up in Charlotte, so it's useful for me to use the South Carolina area code. Under Options, leave this in Scheduled Maintenance. Month to Process is the month that you have it set up. So if we had Spring PMs scheduled for March, I could still select March, and it would bring those up. But for the sake of this, the one we just made, we'll have February. Requested date is going to always just be today's date. 
whatever that is. And then we'll hit OK. And, oh, I made one of these earlier for this demonstration. So there you have it. We have the, you know, any of the um, scheduled maintenance agreements for uh, PM. So we'll go ahead and create them. You want to create orders for the list of scheduled maintenance? Yes. There you go. So now if we went to our service tickets, and we went to our list there at the end of the list, should be the ticket that we created. And it should have all of the pertinent information right there. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of me at the Charleston office, 843-693-7958. Thank you.